easy uh, AC, excuse me, taking it over Sam Sora, but we have quite the match right here. Midwest Mayhem Saga, and these two, Zenodo and Ned facing off, not on the winner's side of things, though, man. This is loser's bracket, yep. and I believe it's actually a qualifying match to make it into the top eight. Wow, this is very interesting, man. We're going to see Bayonetta versus Diddy Kong, and... <laughs> oh, no, we're going to see Cloud versus Diddy Kong. Wow, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why I said <laughs> No. I, I got a one-track man. It's all good, man. I mean, this is... <laughs> You know, it's crazy right here, man. One of these guys at Midwest Mayhem Saga, you know, not going to make it into the top eight. That is pretty nutty when you think about it. Uh, two well, of the best representatives from the Midwest here. When you think about the amount of players that are in losers bracket, the amount of players are not going to make top eight at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you, you know, originally thought. So obviously these two have quite the story history between each other. I mean, just last week, Ned was able to just power his way through quite the bracket and just take out Zenodo and actually would go on to win that tournament over there. Uh, beats it on in two sets, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, winners and grands to get to this, to get to uh, that tournament victory that he secured last week. So, you know, got to feel pretty comfortable coming into this match. Obviously, those Zenodo just had uh, quite the harrowing uh, matchup against Como, right? Yep. Play Como's Cloud, so that's going to be, you know, a lot of comfort on his end, too. Like, he's warmed up against this match, knows what to expect from Ned. Obviously, somebody uh, who he knows well, but the same can be said for Ned, too, man. Yeah, Diddy Kong, not a matchup that you, you know, it's very rare. I, this, a lot of people play Diddy Kong. Exactly. I'm sure Ned has a, the experience. Uh, you're competing in this game, you have to know that matchup, sure. One thing I will say, a lot of the cloud players seem to play very differently, especially Komori Fury, who we were talking about, plays kind of calm, uh, most of the time, at least. So Ned doesn't seem nearly as patient or calm as Kamori Kiri, which can be a good and a bad thing. Yeah, I think one thing about Ned, like, he just likes to kind of press the issue, right? Like, when he's got you in a situation where he thinks you're uncomfortable, like, like just like a bad prom date, man, he's just going to keep making it worse and worse. You know what I mean? Just got to keep coming at you and just trying, uh, you know, to get the, you know, seal the deal for the most part here. But I'm really liking what I'm seeing from Ned. That's All right, awesome. that, was, that was pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Excellent job able Zenodo. to close out that stock. Uh, I expect this to be a, a pretty close set, regardless of whoever wins it. You know, even though we saw, like you said, we saw Ned kind of take it the last time these two played. Yeah, that was big, man. I think that's kind of what I, I, you know, what I said was starting, you know, kind of lead to Ned's ascension, man. Is being able to play at such an optimal and high level here, and he's trying to, you know, kind of run that back here against Zenodo. Obviously, the stakes may be a little bit higher here. You come to an event, you know, dedicated to your region, you want to show up, but. It sucks when you have to fight, you know, one of your uh, your comrades. Yeah, uh, it's gonna happen eventually if you want to win the tournament. Yes, so. that's very accurate. And now we see, so no, looking for a way, and doesn't even want to play neutral without this mana. He knows uh, those cloud hitboxes, all disjointed, all very very big. So uh, it's very risky to try and make your way in there without the mana kind of helping you out. No real punish off that dash attack. That could have been big for Zenodo. Oh, right. I like, did you see that? Just kind of creeped up on him after the hit right there. Yep. It covered a lot of options. Whether you roll or you just elect to just get up, roll back, you're just covered. Either way, Ned was going to get something. And right there gets the more optimal uh, of what he was probably looking for right there and results in the first W. Very good first match between these two players. He said this is going to be a very close set, I think, regardless of whoever wins it. All right. Alright. City is the kind of thing for Zenoto. Uh, why here? Why take Cloud here? I mean, this is one of those stages that I've seen just Zenoto just excel on, like, in general, right? Okay. Good movement right there with the platform. But the same could be said for Ned, man. I mean, I think Cloud just kind of just loves those platforms, just being able to just kind of run away when Diddy's really pressuring you, get some time to charge up your limit. Yeah, really, it's all about creating space sometimes. Really, really hard to approach Cloud when it's on one of these platforms. They're much, much higher than any of the platforms on any of their stages. Yep. Uh, so, you, you know, when he's up there, it's pretty much free limit he's getting. All right, but nonetheless, Zenodo feeling confident enough here to go it. Oh, and so many times we see just Ned just playing right from behind, right? And it's always because at the start, because, you know, as you said, like sometimes the game just really doesn't begin until that limit comes online. Mm -hmm. and also, there's no reason not to, especially if you can get it. Uh, you know, Diddy Kong always wants to pull out the banana, so you always have, uh, there's always going to be a time to charge that limit. So you know, looking for a way to get in, I guess maybe looking for a way to get that banana out safely and then get in. So no, this game hasn't even started yet. There it is. All right, man on deck. <laughs> <Losing. laughs> nice. 
Playing around him here. Yeah, he looked like he was trying to cover all options with the banana in the forward air. Uh, I guess he misplaced the oh, banana. Beautiful catch right there. All right. And then, looking pretty good. <laughs> the banana directly in front of Ned doesn't even opt to pick it up. He said, I'd rather have limit than this banana. My neutral is better <laughs> with the limit. Oh, nice. Good catch right there on the get up attack. Oh, that was scary. That could have been an easy, easy pick for Zenodo with that down smash. I guess he just barely mistimed it. Ned is just flowing right now. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, moving on ice. Look at this. <laughs> you hurt me. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> this is a man who is comfortable with his character and the way that he moves. Uh, he's okay not having the stage control because he knows that once he gets in there, uh, he's going to get a lot of damage or the KO. And speaking of KO, that is exactly what Zenodo is able to find at 62% right here. Man, still hanging around. So the stage is final destination right now. He's not going to have those platforms to help him charge that limit. So Zeno, this is where Zeno needs to get aggressive. Cannot let him charge that limit for free. Oh, ah! man, that was... Oh, but Zenodo no, no, going to stay alive with that tech. What an insane tech right there. I mean, he must have realized that after he air dodged, that stock was in danger. And he had the proper precautions ready because that he was all but done right there. I love that. Trying to trade with the, the um, up B coming downward. Very close match. This is anybody's game here. All Cloud needs is one good read. Maybe Kong, on the other hand, just needs maybe like a down tilt. Oh, wow. He, I, I think he was initiating, tossing that banana. At he the was. Field, he was. Put a little shield pressure, but Ned just let it rip. And man, every, I feel like every stock but one has just been removed. With the off cross that slash. cross slash, yeah. you know, boosted by limit right there, and it's really just kind of starting. Look, look, it's starting to pick at Zenodo a little bit. I see the frustration on his face here, as he's going to decide where we're heading for game number three. Maybe even a character switch. Oh, oh, okay, no, not quite. Uh, I thought better of it. <laughs> what a great, what a great read from uh, Ned, though. That was not a reaction. He was way too close to react to that banana throw. He just knew he, you know, from the amount of times he played Zenodo. Sure. And just Diddy calling in general. Yeah, that distance. I know you're gonna throw the banana. Whatever, man. When Take this cross slash. When you're familiar with your opponent, man, that that can pay off so much in the end, especially high pressure situations like we're seeing between these two. Again, one of these guys at Midwest Mayhem Saga not gonna make it in the top eight to a Midwest finest right here, man. So there is the trade, the banana for limit. Uh, the unfortunate thing about Diddy Kong is that he can lose that banana while Cloud doesn't really have to worry too much about losing that limit for a while. Oof, falling up air leading into a free second up air, and then God, who knows what else. <laughs> nice. The trade right here. Back are gonna take him off stage. Uh, not able to make him waste his limit there. Yeah, Ned not too worried. He knows worst case scenario. I guess I, can, you know, I guess I can use my limit to make it back to stage. He's doing a good job right there. Just not panicking. Just understanding I can make it back to that ledge safely. I'm trying to make something happen. Try to mix him up with these banana throws. Uh, it's very hard though, because this is exactly what Ned wants. He wants him to have the banana in hand and then be in a position where he can throw it and then punish right. Right, with cross slash like last game. <laughs> talk about it there it is not going to take the stock with a hefty amount of damage to follow yeah not very often you see uh the number eight cross slash not get the ko but zanella probably you know, <laughs> wiping that sweat off his forehead he's only in a very good place 78 percent is not too bad and no not at all cloud with no limit this could this match could honestly end in the next 30 seconds yeah this is where zanota needs to be striking man yeah honestly he doesn't even need banana to play neutral just get him off stage with yep. the throw and then ledge guard like your life depends on it <laughs> I mean, your tournament life certainly does. Down 2-0 <laughs> right now. Got to find a way. Yeah, mutual respect coming from both players. I have no idea. Was it a back throw? Or a uh, back air from Ned? That looked like it was an up air, actually. I don't know why it's not a went that just, like, velocity or direction. But... It's a silly little exchange. And always coming back with an aggressive option. This man will not air dodge. He would rather just down air. It's worst case scenario, you know you're gonna trade. But needs to close out the stock as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully, you know, without using limit. That would be ideal right here. I mean, especially when you think about the fact that he's at 134. They have a multitude of moves that can go ahead and just kill and get the job done right now. 
And you want to keep that limit because you're thinking about mounting that comeback you're going to have to do consider the deficit of percent. Yeah, but honestly, you'll be able to finally get it done. Honestly, at this point, beggars can't really be choosers. So if he can get that, that cross slash read, I would just use it. Right there, it looked like he was looking for it, but just didn't react to that forward air. I think he thought better, like, he's not just going to pull the trigger on it right there, but uh, Ned finds the dash attack right here. Gets banana in hand, limit on deck still. And, uh, uh, neutral is 100% Ned's right now. Yeah, banana, <laughs> limit, stage control, everything is mine. <laughs> right. Ned's playing very safely. Doesn't want to overextend because... Uh, Nor should he. Has, yeah, he has the lead. Doesn't have to do much to uh, to win this match. Right, trying to snake a little bit, but that is going to wrap things up. Well done to Zenodo right there. Kept his head down, stayed cool, calm under the pressure, and comes up with a win right there. Gets himself on the board, trailing 2-1 here, but still alive. I would be really surprised if we didn't see a game number five between these two players. Uh, we're going right back to Town City. Uh, I think this was a good counter pick. I, at first, I wasn't sure why you'd want to take off the stage, but it looked like Zeno felt very, very comfortable. Right. <laughs> Toto just won the hammer in the back. Right? <laughs> Smash start off kind of slow. Again, we see these are both players that kind of have to establish their neutral first before they start playing. Right? Sure. Oh, nice. That was really good. Some trouble right there. I, found, I think the, this part of the stage is when Zeno uh, kind of excels once it becomes final destination with no platforms. Yeah, no platforms around. He can really run that neutral. Of course, Cloud doesn't do too bad on this kind of stage either. You know, it's, it's going to be very hard to approach him doing that, that short hop neutral air uh, with no banana. I thought, the, I thought the cross slash was coming. But I guess with, Ned, it, with Ned, it, it always just feels like it's looming, right? Yeah. Like, he's just going to let it rip. Oh, great tech is going to save him from that dash attack. Yeah, seriously. Ned's been trying to follow that up a lot. Oh, wow. And speaking of uh, just letting that cross Ooh. slash whip, he did it right there. Didn't get any damage off of it. You see that reading? The, whatever tech options another chose, aside from the tech roll away, that down smash would have caught it. And he catches the roll into the stage. Oh. I wonder, miss input maybe from, from Ned? Try, try to bring himself over a little bit. I think Blade Beam does that, but not quite Cross Slash. Cross Slash maybe just puts you in a weird... Game. I see Clouds slow themselves down like that a lot of the time, just trying to mix up how they recover. Because obviously, you know, stuff with recovery and all that stuff. I'll yeah. try to mix it up, throw a couple, uh, take a couple tricks out the bag. But, uh, nonetheless, though, Zenodo able to stick with it, and Ooh. he does come up with that first stock here. And those monkey kids are so oh. useful if you're a part... Whoa, everybody wow. just... Smashing buttons. Um, see the monkey flip coming in very, very useful uh, when you know your opponent's going to shield. Of course, Cloud doesn't want to take any more damage, so he's in a situation where you know he's going to be shielding a little bit more than usual. Right. Oh, that doesn't have his limit just yet. This is great for Zenoda right here, man. He has certainly come alive in these last two games. Man, that was a wake-up call. After going down 2-0, that's that's a lot of players' wake-up call. Especially, you know, when this is your oh, saga. Good catch! Nah, he has his limit. He's, he's going to be fine. Still, Ned looking for anything to close out the stock. And that's really weird to say as Cloud, you know? I mean, dude, Ned is... I mean, essentially, Ned has just kind of been shut down here. <laughs> oh, poor there. Working as intended. Spike downwards and getting a kick off the top. Yeah, popped them all the way up right there. <laughs> so for Zono here, still got to feel pretty, uh, pretty comfortable, man. But unfortunately, I've seen this part of the movie before, and I have seen Ned be able <laughs> no to. No spoilers! No spoilers! <laughs> Ned be able to rally and bring this one back. <laughs> so Zenodo far from out of danger right here, <laughs> as we're seeing that. Forty-one percent in a matter of seconds. Yeah, that staircase of up there is coming through. Oh, but the banana, though, the placement from Zenodo with these bananas have just been impeccable. Ah! Is that it? It oh is! Oh, my gosh, that enough. is going to be enough. Oh, wow. What did I tell you? Well, I said, rewind the tape. I seen it before. <laughs> And uh, well, it looked like he was he was 50 before they hit, obviously 51 after they hit. I didn't think, you know, obviously they nerfed his uh, finishing touch in the air it's, not too long ago. I didn't think that was going to be enough. But It's that percent on Cloud, that percent on Diddy Kong, and that stage in town and city all just came stage, together and just culminated in that big comeback from Ned. And I'll tell you, here it is. We're going to see it in uh, 
replay. And uh, Ned staying so patient yep. in what seemed like such a terrible situation for him. But I, I guess like when you're playing Cloud, uh, we gotta <laughs> go keep showing. It. <laughs> I just, just keep showing this replay over and over. <laughs> and you even saw uh, right there Zenodo just kind of lean his head back <laughs> when it, when he start when he went to initiate it. Like, Cause you know, uh, damn well that's happened to him before. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> we just flew across the country, Dad. You really had to do that to me again. There it is. Man. <laughs> I told you now. See, I've seen that that movie before, man. <laughs> That's that's gotta be <laughs> that not disappointing. Yeah, it is. Now we have Zenodo not making a top eight of the Midwest Mayhem yeah. Saga. I mean, it's a tough tournament, man. I mean, it, you know, that set we saw could have gone either way, but just in those closer moments when it counted the most, man, Ned just had a little more. Yep. Well, well, we'll see more of Ned in the losers brackets. Uh, I, th I think this call is very fun to watch. His yeah. accuracy, or I guess like his hit accuracy of uh, cross slash, is is comically high. The Com amount of times he can connect with it is is great. I just love how he stays calm in bad situations. He